All right, here's the set for River Hill Ghost Patrol. This is just my garage, but I'm going to clean it up a little bit um, and start dressing it up to look a little more like we are summoning ghosts inside a haunting dead building instead of just sitting on the floor of my garage. I am realizing now that the set needs to be cleared out a little bit since the bikes, the chairs on the wall don't really match the vibe I'm going for. And also that I should maybe get something to cover these windows up here. It's a lot of light coming in, a lot of light that is going to be pretty unhelpful since I'm it's supposed to be a night location and I want the scene to be dark. So I believe I'll have to grab some cardboard or paper bags from inside and start cleaning out the set. Goodbye, bicycle. It's a little hard to tell, but I'm actually just moving the bikes to a different corner of the room. Which might come back to haunt me later, no pun intended. But it's a lot easier than taking them outside or into another part of the house. And we are almost ready, as long as I find a way to darken up the set. So let's get to that. This lighting thing is turning out to be a little more of a hiccup than initially thought, which is why I have that ladder that I moved earlier and all that cardboard. And also two rolls of duct tape, so um, let's start time lapsing this too. I really should have done this last night. Come think of it, the lighting's kind of nice, but it's really not what I need right now. So we're gearing up to actually start filming, but before we do that, let's assemble the second of the GBM lights. Because it turns out um, candles and one light isn't quite enough, so I'm breaking up the second one. So back to some lighting design. I know it's hard to see here, but Phoenix is wearing all black today. So because of that, while a key and a fill are usually pretty far away from each other for dramatic purposes, and this is the most dramatic part of the scene, I still have to have a key right here on him. A little indirect, of course, otherwise that wouldn't look as good. And the fill points almost right at him in order for us to actually see his face. All right, just a quick bit on the sound design here. This is a shop vac. It's supposed to be sort of a ghost hunting machine thing, but no, it's just a shop vac. The sound effects used for it are just... Microwave. Woo! It's just sound effects of a microwave. This might be changing the post, but for production, it works. 